Welcome to MonroeMotors.com. Here we have a 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Z51 3LT in black on black leather interior. Uh, so we'll just start over at the rear of the vehicle. We've got the uh, hatch raised here so you can see in the back. Um, so here's the trunk area on the new C8 Corvette. Uh, so the removable clear or transparent target top fits nicely back here. Uh, in the front we have the mid-engine uh, which is a v8 6.2 liter motor which is 495 horsepower and that's paired to an eight speed dual clutch automatic transmission uh, this one has the carbon fiber uh, engine dress up kit we've got the edge red um, engine cover there and we also have the mag ride so there's a cable here going to the top of the strut tower and that's for the adjustable electronic suspension uh, so we'll go ahead we'll close the trunk lid uh, so it does have soft close. I'll just simply press and it will pull itself shut. Uh, we've got the carbon flash metallic badge package. We also have carbon flash around the rear window there as well. Uh, this is the rear view mirror camera there just above the glass. Uh, so your rear view mirror uh, will act as a monitor for that camera. Or you can flick the dongle below and it will go into uh, a regular mirror mode. Uh, we've got the nice high wing C8 spoiler there. It looks great. Uh, we've got LED tail lights. Uh, we've got a reverse camera just above the license plate bracket there. We've got uh, twin dual exhaust. So there's two ports here and there's two ports over here on this side as well. Um, it does have the performance exhaust. So there is dampers on them as well that open and close electronically to make the exhaust louder or quieter. So I'll just let you have another look here and we'll shift around. So Here's the other rear wheel. Uh, so it's got the nice uh, gloss black wheels. We've got the red calipers, painted rotors, and nice Michelin tires on there as well. So we'll shift around to the passenger side. Uh, so we've got nice baseball stitching there. We've got the Bose Performance Series stereo. We've got uh, uh, programmable uh, memory seats here for the passenger side, uh, power locks, um, power windows, and an electronic door release. Uh, here's the kick plate on the uh, passenger side. It's in really good shape, as you can see. And for the passenger seat, we've got power fore, aft, up, down, power recline, lumbar, and side bolster adjustments. And I'm just going to go ahead and scan up that seat so you can see the condition. These are the nice GT2 seats, so it's got the carbon fiber inlay. Uh, we've got the nice perforated leather there for the heated and cooled seat. And we've got the embossed Corvette logo in the headrest as well. So as I get in, just have a look in the door frame, nice and tidy. And we'll have a look here in the glove box. Uh, so on the glove box, we have the books and we have the wheel lock key there as well. So that's great. Um, we've got the button here to open the glove box. We've got vents here on either side. Have a look at the condition of the dash while I'm on this side. Looks great. And part of the 3LT package, we do get the uh, Alcantara up the A pillars there as well. So we'll hop out and we'll close this side up. And for your mirrors, uh, there is blind spot monitoring in them as well. So there's a little icon there in the top right corner that will light up if someone's in your blind spot. Uh, the fins along the side of the doors here are done in carbon flash as well. And I'll just step to the back of the vehicle and we'll move along this side so you can see the condition. It's in extremely good shape as you can see. The paint is just glimmering. So here's your front wheel. So again, nice high gloss black wheels, painted rotors, red painted calipers, and nice Michelin tires. So we'll shift around to the front. So here's your front or front trunk. Uh, so uh, nice size storage area here. Uh, we've got some goodies. We get the net for the rear cargo. Um, we've got a bag. I believe that's for the uh, charger. And then you've got your fuel filler tube uh, and just the wheel lock uh, case. The wheel lock again is in the front there. Uh, we've got a plug for the charger and we've got uh, an emergency release button there as well. Um, so there's your uh, windshield washer fluid top up and we'll go ahead, we'll close the front lid here. Have a look from the front. So there it is, it's got the nice bright uh, projector style H or LED uh, headlights. Let's see if you can see that. Uh, but inside it's got the nice projector eye and we've got the nice uh, eyebrow there that's lit up in LED as well for your daytime running lights. Uh, we've got the front curb view camera. So there's one there and there's one over here. Um, and I'll just have a close look here, see if there's anything to point out. Uh, nothing I see here. So the front end looks great. So we'll shift around. 
Here's your other front wheel. So again, nice high gloss black wheels, red painted calipers, painted rotors, nice Michelin tires. And same thing back here. Fantastic. So we'll move on to the uh, driver's side door. Uh, so again, we've got the Bose Performance Series stereo on this side. Uh, we've got our power mirrors down below, power folding mirrors, um, power windows, nice baseball stitching. Um, we've got the power locks, uh, electronic door release, and the two releases for the front and rear trunk with a nice little storage pocket there. And you've got your memory seat for the driver as well. So it does seat, steering wheel, and mirrors. Um, so here's the kick plate on the driver's side, so it's in good shape. And here's our power seat. So power four, aft, up, down, power recline, lumbar, and side bolster adjustments. And again, I'm just gonna scan up that seat so you can see the condition. Awesome, so as I get in, just have a look in the door frame, nice and tidy. Let's get in and fire this one up. There we are. So in terms of kilometers, we have 1,728. No warning lights or issues there on the dash. Uh, it does have the Z button. So if we press that, it goes into performance mode. The exhaust port's open and the dash changes to red. Uh, down below, we have our cruise control buttons right here. Uh, beside that, we've got our favorites or track change. On this side, you've got your volume keys. Uh, and then here is our arrow keys, which work the dash. So that gives us the different options here. Simplify options. Uh, maintenance, uh, audio, performance, uh, and trip computer. So again, that's all controlled with the arrow keys here. Um, above that, you've got telephone hang up, telephone answer, and voice command. And we've got a heated steering wheel here as well. So uh, that's great. And paddle shifters, you've got plus and minus on this side um, for manual mode. And then we've got our heads up display controls there. So uh, there's the heads up display on the dash. Um, and you can move the image, you can uh, change the brightness, you can change the information that's displayed. Um, so all that's done with these controls here. And then in here we have power tilt and telescopic steering columns. So that's great. Electronic parking brake is down below and the dash dimmer switch is here. Um, here's your push button start. And then there's our radio. So we've got audio, which is AM, FM, Sirius XM, Bluetooth streaming, USB, and auxiliary in. We've got telephone controls. We've got navigation. Uh, so here's your full factory nav. And if we go back, we've got Wi-Fi hotspot. You can set up users. Uh, you've got settings, uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, we've got uh, OnStar services. We've got PDR. Uh, so here's your performance data recorder. You can put an SD card in and there is a camera just above uh, the rear view mirror here that will record your driving and track times. Uh, so that's great. And um, that's it for that. If I hit cameras here, front camera, there's your front cameras. Uh, here's your reverse. Oh, it's over here. There's your reverse camera. And again, those will operate when you put it into gear. So if I put it in reverse, there's my reverse camera. If I put it in drive, there's my front cameras, put it in park and it goes back. Um, and then we've got our mode selector here. So this is just like the C7, you just twist it like so, and it changes the mode on the dash, tour, sport, uh, my mode, weather. Um, so that's all controlled there. Uh, we've got our climate control, so we can hit auto. You've got uh, driver's temperature up here. Um, we've got driver's heated and cooled seat. So you can sync the two zones together. Fan control is here, auto is here, and then we've got uh, defrost settings and heated and cooled seat and passenger temperature selection here. Uh, here's our cup holder. We've got uh, two keys with this one. Uh, so here's a key for a C8. It's got lock, unlock, remote start, front and rear trunk, and a panic button. And there is two keys with this one as well. Uh, here's our center armrest. We've got the uh, USB-C, USB, uh, auxiliary, and SD card slot. And then this is a wireless charger here for your phone. Um, also take note, we've got the transparent top here, so that's a great feature. You've got your OnStar above, and then there's your rear view mirror camera. If we uh, flip the dongle, there it is as a mirror. Uh, so that's a great feature. So now we'll just hop out with the running, we'll have a look and a listen. Great sound to it. So that's in uh, performance mode with the dampers open. So great sound to it. And I'll just show you here from the front with the uh, lights on. So there's those nice bright LED lights. 
looks great and we'll just move along this side of the vehicle so you can see the condition nice rumble to it there you have it folks 2020 chevrolet corvette z51 3lt here and available at monroemotors.com Come on down and have a look at this one for yourself. Look forward to seeing you real soon.